what is an earthquake, and what should we do during an earthquake? Uchak Balloon TV! Hello guys! How are you? I hope you are all doing very well. Let's take a break. Come and chat with me. Today I want to talk about the earthquake. Shall we talk? There was a big earthquake in Turkey this year. Lots of people lost their homes unfortunately. And you must have heard the word, earthquake a lot from your family, news and social media. If our home, school or the building we are in suddenly starts shaking, it means an earthquake is happening. Some earthquakes are so strong, while others are so tiny that we don't even feel them. But there are earthquakes all over the world at any time. Let's take a look at earthquakes and find out why they happen together. Earthquake is a natural event and occurs due to fractures in the Earth's structure. We cannot see and feel these fractures. Because they are miles and miles under the ground and have no direct effect on our lives. But these fractures sometimes can cause earthquakes. Now let's imagine our world as a giant egg. We can say that the yolk I mean the yellow sphere of this egg is the core of the earth. The white part is the mantle of the earth. And the shell is the outer crust of the earth. Under the outer shell of the earth there is a giant puzzle made of huge hard rocks. The edges of these puzzle pieces are called fault lines. Well, do you know how fault lines move? Let's see. The core of our earth is so hot that it causes the underground mines, such as iron and gold, to melt and flow. As a result, the puzzle pieces shift and slide. They may be approaching, moving away from each other, or colliding with each other. Collisions cause breaking in fault lines. These giant ground movements of the Earth are called earthquake. Did you hear that? When there is an earthquake, our lamps shake. Since the lamps are hung from the ceiling with a rope, they can move independently and it is a very good indicator for us to observe the situation and understand that there is an earthquake. So what should we do if there is an earthquake and our lamps are shaking? First of all, if our house is on the first or second floors and we can get out quickly, we should run outside as soon as we feel the earthquake. To be prepared, we can try this after watching this video. If it is difficult for us to leave the house, for example, if we cannot go out of the building without counting to 20 or if we have to use the elevator, then we should collapse in a safe place at home and wait for the earthquake to end. While waiting, the first thing to do is to take our earthquake bag and our mobile phone to communicate, and collapse behind a sofa or right next to our bed. Let's be careful. If there is a window near us, we must be at a distance not to harm us, even if the glass is broken. Well, have you heard of the rule of, drop, cover, hold on? It is similar being a sleeping horse while playing horse game. The rule of curling up in our safe place on our knees and arms, and then protecting our head and neck with our hands or a pillow. Some of you have heard I understand from your eyes and yes you know that rule. It is important please remember. It would be very good for you to talk to our parents and find a safe place where we can hide in an earthquake. In this way, we do not have to think in the event of an earthquake, we immediately go to our place and wait. Let's find our safe place in our house right now. If our homes are designed by smart, hard-working people with good hearts and built in a legal manner, they will not collapse in an earthquake. We just feel the shaking of earth and realize that again these naughty rocky puzzles are moving again. When we grow up, we also should be good-hearted, hard-working, smart and competent people who do everything in accordance with the rules and working hard to find the best way. 
However, if our houses are not strong enough or are built on a fault line, they may collapse and we may fall under the collapsed building. This time, good people and heroes from all over our country and from the world who love to protect and save us step in and take action to get us out of there. We also need to make our place known to them somehow and make our voices heard. If we have a phone or smart watch with us, it can be a good way to call, emergency call number. If we have not any communication tool, we can shout, whistle, or hit stones while someone passing nearby to make them to find us. Now, please learn the emergency phone number for your country. When the health and rescue teams find us, they examine us, warm us, and heal our injuries. They help us and give water, soda, fruit juice, food, candies and chocolate. They hug us and try to eliminate our pain and fear. When houses are destroyed in an earthquake, everyone feels very very sad. They try to do something for the people whose houses are destroyed, they set up tents, they send food, drinks, clothing and camping equipment so that we can live as if going camping for a while until the new homes are built. They take care of us in order to replace our things, toys and clothes with new ones. And they play with us to make us smile. We might still feel the absence of loved ones. We might be upset. We may not want to do anything. We may feel lonely and unhappy. We should stop just thinking with sadness inside us. Instead of this we need to talk to people, doctors and teachers who try to help us. We can also try to get through this period of mourning and sadness by praying for our loved ones and thinking that they have gone to a beautiful place, heaven. We must continue to live as our parents expect us to grow up and become good people and contribute to make the world a better place in the future. Even if we have not experienced an earthquake ourselves, we should be very kind and good when we see someone who has been affected by an earthquake and lost a loved one or home. We can send them gifts, ask if they need anything and try to help, play games together and pray for them. And when we grow up, if we become brilliant people with good hearts and if we do our jobs in the right way, for example, if we use the best materials and best quality rules to build houses, we can be heroes that prevent earthquakes from harming us and other children. Now, let's calculate the time we leave the house with our mom and dad right now and determine the safe place where we can sit down and hide. We love you guys so much. See you later. If you like this video please do not forget to click like button.